When I aim a standard store-bought laser pointer at a single-sided lenticular lens in the same polarity and simply turn the lens, I can form a circle or two back-to-back -back arcs. The laser is both refracting through the lens and reflecting off the lens almost in equal parts. Remember, this is a single-sided lens. There is no lens on the smooth backside. The Canadian military scientists seem perplexed by this weird laser cone, so I knew that from their reaction, it wasn't something they had witnessed before. Apart from the cool shapes, was there any practical application to laser lines, arcs, and cones? Well, improved security systems where we could create a laser wall without spinning a mirror to do so. We could also form a laser cone around items to protect them from theft. Upon further examination, and I say further meaning distance, I noticed that these were not lines but dots. And the bigger the circle of the cone, the greater number of dots. And the larger the lens, even more dots made up the line, arc, or circle. I then noticed an interference pattern within a tight arc I had made, which made me think that quantum mechanics was at play. If you're familiar with the double slit experiment in quantum physics, if we aim a coherent light source at two slits, we expect to see two lines on a wall behind the material with the two slits. But we get multiple lines forming, with the strongest in the middle and the weakest at the sides. This is because light is behaving like a wave pattern. Similar to dropping two rocks in the water, the ripples or waves will interact with one another. You get constructive interference, which is where the waves pile up. And you get deconstructive interference, which is where we see the gaps in between. Light has been determined by the double slit experiment to be both a particle and a wave. What does this mean about the formation of our lines or cones from a laser hitting a lenticular lens? I believe we're seeing constructive interference taking place not just at the top and bottom of the wave, but the lens is causing the constructive interference to happen along the wave sides as well as deconstructive interference in between, causing the laser to split into hundreds of smaller laser lines. As all of the laser lines are being split from the parent laser, are all of these laser lines connected by quantum entanglement with each other? I called up my patent attorney who has his Masters of Science in Physics to discuss this with him, and upon asking if quantum physics might be the reason we're seeing all of these weird properties of lenticular lenses, specifically with laser splitting, he paused and then answered, I think it's the only explanation. Remember, he said, quantum mechanics is going on all around us all the time. We just don't perceive it like we do with normal physics. <laughs>